Hey everyone, welcome to Gameplay First, where fun is second to none. My name's Tyler, and this show is rated E for every so often I use the word f***. This week I'll be taking a look at an indie title I found called Game Dev Tycoon. The first game to come out of Greenheart Games, Game Dev Tycoon is exactly what it sounds like. A simulation game wherein you run your own game development studio from the early days of PC gaming to the here and now. Well, the here and now being 2013. I can only imagine how outdated this game will be if they don't update it. Coming soon, the PlayStation 15, now with even better graphics! It's the same crap every year. You're telling me why in my day consoles were- Hey! What the hell are you doing? No! Stop it, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Can't get rid of this guy. By the way, expect a ton of allegories to game studios, consoles, and developers. As you progress through the game, you'll go from a one-man operation in a garage to a full-blown AAA development studio. You'll be given opportunities to introduce new features, new genres, and even industry-changing projects. Of course, that's assuming you can even make it past the first few levels. The way a game is decided whether to be a success or not seems a little bit arbitrary at times, but it's not so much frustrating as a learning experience. It takes a lot of experimenting, a lot of trial and error, and if you walk into the game expecting to just put out title after title that's successful one after the other, you're going to walk away disappointed. But in that sense, the game's actually pretty realistic to the actual development cycle. Although it's a little bit frustrating, it's not frustrating in a bad way. It's frustrating in a way that challenges you and makes you go, so help me, I will figure out a way to keep this company alive. Let's try this again. Even real game developers are prone to putting out stinkers every now and then. It's a real challenge to find that perfect balance of time spent polishing the engine, gameplay, AI, etc until you hit a sweet spot and make a really killer game. Most of this can be deciphered using simple logic. For example, if you're making an RPG, you should probably focus more on quests and objectives than on the engine. Or you can just put out the same crap every year and make bank. Hey, it works for EA and it can work for you. Tell me about it. What I really found interesting was the games that I'm really good at playing were easier for me to make. I had no problem churning out hit adventure and action games, but strategy games eluded me time and time again. Though I'm not surprised I actually did pretty well at making RPGs, considering I've made some before. Paper Mario Pocket, now available for download! Speaking of fan games, in addition to just making games, you'll also have the opportunity to gain and interact with fans. Sometimes they'll make fan games and you can choose to take legal action or leave them alone. Sometimes they'll pirate your games and you can choose to give them a warning or sue the crap out of them. By the way, on the subject of piracy, Greenheart actually did something pretty interesting to circumvent piracy with this game they put out the pirated version themselves. Stay with me. If you pirate the game, expect to go bankrupt pretty quickly as fans of your games pirate you into the poorhouse. Talk about an innovative approach to dealing with piracy. I'd say some kudos are in order. So, kudos. Even with all of this, the game was a bit lacking in bells and whistles. It's pretty straightforward. Keep churning out games to keep your studio afloat until you can get the upgrades you want. I would have loved to see at least like a box art designer or a logo designer. Instead, I was relegated to merely imagining that the box art for my hit surgical simulation game, Malpractice, had a picture of a doctor shrugging sheepishly as a patient with an arm sewn to his torso handed him paperwork. At the end of the day, Game Dev Tycoon is essentially the little game that could. Made by just two people, this game clearly has a lot of heart behind it. And for all the fun that I've had, it's well worth the eight bucks that I paid for it. This one gets a recommendation. Basically, to quote the game's in-game magazine, Informed Gamer, I can't wait for the sequel. For Gameplay First, this is Tyler, signing off. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go pack for E3. Yeah, I know it's not for a month, but I'm really excited. Heck, it's downtown! You're taking the darn bus! You're just jealous that you're not going, old man!